it's Miss Susie from the Evergreen Park Public Library and welcome to another Tasty Tuesday. Today we are actually going to make something that's savory for once and we are going to be making English muffin pizzas. So to do that you are going to need for sure English muffins which if you are gluten in, uh, intolerant like I am uh, you can always get the English muffins that are gluten free. These are just what we have in the house so I will be making these for somebody else. Um, I, you will also need meat or vegetables that you like, um, as well as cheese. If you just like cheese, you can just do cheese. Um, we'll be grating this. So if you want to work on your grating skills, you can do this. Um, and you'll need some pizza or spaghetti sauce to use as your pizza sauce on your English muffins. Now, if you want to make it a little bit extra flavorful, which is what I'm going to do today, you're going to also need um, olive oil, garlic powder, and an Italian season mix. This is a zap pack. You can use whatever you like. So, to start off, you should have your oven at 400 degrees, so preheating, and you need to line your pan with either parchment paper or foil or something just to keep the pan clean. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do three tablespoons of olive oil. One, two, three. Again, this is completely optional. If you have a preference for a different oil, you can use that. If you'd rather put some garlic butter on it, you can do that or you can just leave it plain and put the pizza sauce directly onto it in a minute. Then you're going to need a quarter of a teaspoon of your Italian season mix, whatever that is. And a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now, if you're an adult and you're trying to make this even fancier, you can also roast some garlic and rub roasted garlic onto the English muffin. That's delicious. And then what we're going to do is just mix it. mix and now we're going to put it to the side and we are going to open our cheese which you may need scissors or a knife for either way be very careful please don't hurt yourself now I like to cut a slip up the side of the cheese as well so that I can roll it back and still hold it in the plastic while I start trying it if you're not using a black cheese and you're using free shred, then this is an unnecessary step, obviously. But be very careful not to get your fingers in the way of the grater. So as I grate the cheese, um, options for toppings are endless. If you like ham on your pizza, or if you like peppers or onion or olives, just whatever you like, you can customize this to, to be exactly what you want it to be um, based on what you have in your fridge um, or what you go shopping for specifically. This just happens to be a lot of stuff that a lot of people may have in their home. Okay, I think that's enough for one of these. Okay, so now we have some cheese. You can grate as much cheese as you feel like you need. That should be enough for one for me. So, we're going to take an English muffin. And now you are going to use a fork. And you're going to split your English muffin. I should probably move these scissors out of the way. Okay, split your English muffin. Now, 
once you've got your English muffin split, we are going to make sure this is still nice and mixed up, get the stuff off the bottom again. And then you are just going to, you can take a spoon and kind of drizzle it, or you can use one of these and pat it in. But you're just making sure it gets all that nice garlic flavor, Italian seasoning, deliciousness into the English muffin. Now you don't want to oversaturate it. You don't want it to be super soggy. You just want it to be enough that you've gotten that flavoring in there. So it should look pretty golden yellow right now. There we go. So, this is what they look like. They're very yellow and delicious looking. And now we're going to go with the toppings. So to start, you're going to want to um, use your pizza sauce. So with the pizza sauce, or in this case, uh, I'm using leftover spaghetti sauce, which also works. Um, you're going to take a spoon and you're just going to kind of spoon it out onto your English muffin. If you like a lot of sauce, you can put a lot of sauce. If you only like a little, you can be as sparse with it as you'd like. This is completely customizable. And I think that's enough. I think that's good. So the next step, obviously, is put on toppings. So we're going to start with the cheese. And I am making this for my darling husband. And he likes cheese and meat. So we're just going to use pepperoni. Now, if you have little pepperonis at home, you can use those, like pizza pepperoni. Um, I have what's called sandwich pepperoni. It's big. And since he's a fan of it, I'm just gonna go like that and do the whole thing. And he wants a piece. So each one, oh, and I think the dogs just got a piece too. Um, don't feed your dogs pepperoni, it's bad for them. So once you've put your meat and your toppings on it, I often put just a little bit more cheese to make it nice and gooey. And I know he will be a fan of that. So now that our English muffin pizzas are put together, what we are going to do is we are going to put them in the oven, which is at 400 degrees, that's what we preheated it to, for eight to 10 minutes. I recommend checking it at about eight minutes, like it says, and seeing if everything is melty, because you don't want it to get like crispy burnt on the top cheese, but it should be nice, melty, and delicious. So eight to 10 minutes, and then I will be back. I will clean up while we're waiting. You should always clean up as you go. Um, and I will show you what the final product looks like. So as you can see, it's been eight, eight and a half minutes maybe, because the timer went off and then it took me a minute to get them out. Um, and our little, English muffin pizzas are done. They're nice and melty. They're soft and gooey. And I know from when I used to eat them that they are delicious. Um, but I hope that you guys try making these at home. They're very easy. Little hands can help. You can make them exactly to your preference. And they are pretty delicious. But I will see you guys next time. And I hope you enjoy. Bye guys.